Hey guys, it's Paul at the Ugly Motel, and it's inspection day. Unfortunately, the inspection has already ended, and uh, no, none of the inspectors were actually interested in being part of my video. Um, and we live in America, there's freedom, and uh, you know, heck, I'm not gonna, I, I don't blame them. Anyhow, I'm gonna give you kind of the pros, cons, and all the chaos that happened, um, and just kind of review some of the stuff that we found. Um, so, if you're new to the channel, please press like and subscribe. Um, if you know anything about kind of where we're going from here, um, I'll just give you a quick rundown. Our goal is to, uh, this site is Travel Lodge now, um, and our goal is to get the hotel side livable. Um, so it meets the bare minimum of building the safety standards, um, so that way they can um, send in Wyndham's team to give us a lot more detailed list on things we need to fix. Um, besides like third coats on paint and whatnot. Um, my main goal right now um, is to have the city allow me to open up my back apartment building um, this month so we can get tenants inside of there and so we can um, cash flow. Um, we want a cash flow so that way we can not rush this side. So. Um, All right, here's a quick peek of what all happened this week leading up to the actual inspection. And I'll walk you through all the uh, negative things we found during the inspection. You know, I like the whole transparency thing, and we are an ugly motel. We are a work in progress. We are not perfect. That is, you know, half the learning part of this. So we learn from the School of Hard Knocks. So this is what the morning before the uh, inspection looks like. Walking all the rooms, cleaning the uh, garbage that for some reason just always accumulates in the hallways. Trying to get some of these rooms put together. Hitting random things with hammers to see if they're actually broken or not. Hopefully it doesn't bite me in the butt later. Um, We're obviously going to have to come back and put the actual plates on there. Our plan is to hydraulic cement them in place, but for inspection purposes, this giant piece of steel counts the door jam. We just have to have it close under its own power. Lock it, and the deadbolt has to engage. There we go. Give you an idea of what we're having to deal with. <laughs> That's hot. That is very hot. Lucky for me, I can't feel my fingers. So close. Just gonna put it in the box. Put it in the box. Lots of inspectors. That's not scary at all. Okay, so here's the kind of walkthrough of what we found during the actual inspection. Here you go. This whole east side now has uh, new tiles uh, inside the entry of the bathroom area. Uh, we have our carpet squares down. Again, this is from Carpetland. They're awesome. Uh, we haven't actually glued them. Um, they're just kind of, they're kind of stuff fit. We're gonna be trimming out. We have a whole video on the black trim paint we're gonna be using, uh, Spectrum paint product. Um, let me just show you some of the, the hits we got, some mistakes, some of the needs for improvement. Something that's really kind of fun, um, there were two building and safety uh, people here and there were two uh, health department people here and we didn't, we didn't find any evidence of bugs. So that's great, you know, again, you would have thought that there would have been a cockroach or something. Um, I don't know, I mean, these all the rooms have been gutted also. So, and uh, ABC had sprayed them for several months past when people moved out. I feel, yeah, we, we probably, we probably didn't have much of a chance of finding any, but at the same time, it's. It's nice to be, you know, told, hey, look, didn't find anything, so that's nice. Okay, so all my bathrooms are these boring um, tiles. You'll notice I'm missing a shower head. Completely, completely didn't notice it. Um, you also notice that the inside of these frames are not painted. They need to be done better. Um, one more issue that we realized was that this, uh, this little thing for some reason sticks. 
So I'm gonna change out that light switch. Anyhow, um, these will be replaced with a natural stone uh, countertop at some point before opening as a travel lodge. Um, so something that I did that was really stupid, I forgot that they need to test to make sure that water works and we, you know, we don't want anything to explode. So we've had the water off and, um, you know, that's one of the major tests for building a safety is to make sure that those things actually work. So that's frustrating. Again, you can see the, uh, the sinks probably just need deep clean and stuff like that. Um, stuff that we need to work on, obviously. Um, another test that they do is to make sure that the doors actually close under their own power, which they do. Um, we're gonna be removing all this glass once we have permission to open and permission to start um, playing with this building. Again, when I say permission, I mean, when the annex is able to cash flow and it makes sense for me to invest more money in this building, right? Um, some other things you'll notice, we haven't put up the trim here. We had to have Bisinger glass replace several of our sheets of glass because, well, they were broken. So uh, we still put on the trim on the outside. Let's see what else. We don't have our vinyl strips down in every room yet. Um, looks like we needed a screw here. You can see how thin this first coat of uh, paint has gone down. We need to repaint everything. Also, in a couple of the rooms, this one in particular, it's got really bad tile. You can see where I patched some of it. You can see um, right here, it needs to be deep clean that a caulk line put up. I, I personally want to just redo all these, these showers. I, I hate them. Um, but again, it's a time and money factor. People don't think about how long a shower takes. It, it, it literally, to, to redo the tile on this, um, it'll probably take me, you know, three days or so. If I have a helper, maybe a day and a half. You slow down as you do more and more of the rooms. Um, I don't know, so. Um, but if I, if I have the cash flow from the annex and I don't have to worry about opening it up. Again, Travel Lodge wants me to open up sooner rather than later, but then I have to pass, um, you know, their standards. We're gonna be getting all new furniture at some point. Um, let's see, what else? Oh, in this room, I, I completely forgot the tile underneath the toilet. So that was dumb. Um, just frustrating little things. We replaced, uh, several of the thresholds because they, uh, the old ones were either bent, worn out, nasty, whatever. Um, again, you can see a lot of these rooms. I'm gonna have to go through and put like a, a bead of cock between the ceiling and the wall because I guess it just, it needs it. There's like a gap or something from the old drywall. Um, yeah, so. Uh, let's see, what else, what else? In previous episodes, we showed how we kind of patched the, uh, the floor here. My end goal here is that it'll be basically a sidewalk. So I'm gonna probably put some kind of stamped concrete or something else, like a thin coat that'll make it look like a design rather than a weird sidewalk thing. Um, obviously, you guys know we have RFID door locks. That was one of the issues when we first shut down. Um, Let's see, well, nothing really in this room. There's just so many little issues. Oh, here's one. Okay, so this is more of a travel lodge issue. Um, we're changing out these gold ones with all silver ones. We have them all, but I just figured it's not really a building and safety issue, so might as well not have it be an issue. So we'll, uh, we'll be changing out these ones with silver ones cleaning off the door jams that we did some overspray on. Um, let's see, what else? It's just a lot of little things that have to still get done. Um, this bathtub could use some new tile, it's ugly. Needs a deep clean is what it needs. I don't know. Yep, I don't know. Again, my goal is to make this all a little bit shinier and better at the end. 
So one of the things people don't really think about is how much money it costs to float a giant empty hotel. Um, it's somewhere around the tune of $30,000 per month. And uh, you know, that requires me doing a lot of side jobs. Um, one of the questions I got was, hey, so how long is it gonna take you to finish the rest of this? And I said, well, if you let me open up the annex, I could focus on this hotel you know, 100% for a while. That'd be great. Um, again, my original thing was I, I, I had saved up money to do this in phases and um, my plan kind of got accelerated. This is still where things need to go and I still agree there's still a lot of work that needs to happen um, to get the hotel side where it needs to go. Um, a lot of little checking to make sure plumbing's working, checking to make sure paint's done checking to make sure things look good. Um, there are carbon monoxide smoke detector things inside of every room, so that's nice. I double checked to make sure all my exit lights <laughs> were working before I came in here, uh, or before the inspection. We double checked to make sure all the uh, outlets were, were working. Um, one of the funny things that kind of happened. So when we're changing out outlets, I have a guy that, or not outlets, outlet covers. You can see they're different colors. Um, should have gotten the cream. Oh well. Anyhow, um, one of the things that we had forgotten to do is to double check we turned back on all the breakers. So one of the parts of their inspection is just to make sure the lights work. And we went through a couple rooms. I'm like, why is it not working? Um, and one of them was because I forgot the light bulb. And the other one was because uh, we forgot to put in or we forgot to turn back on the the, the breaker. So. Anyhow, um, it is still an ugly motel. Uh, it has a ways to go. Um, I am sure it did not pass building safety's inspection for the hotel side. Um, but my argument is, let us open up the annex. Let us hand that over to KW Elite. They are a property management slash um, property developer, and they'll be able to just take over management and make sure that side is making money and that allow me to focus on this side, which would be great, um, and finish up all the little knickknack stuff. I don't wanna keep the same ugly carpet. I, I'd like extra cash to go pretty. I'd like to actually hire out painters because um, we painted it all by hand. And um, I know some really good painters. Um, Dan with It's Just Us out of Lincoln. Guy's fast, he uses a sprayer, crazy good. Um, if I could afford to hire him, I would prefer to have him come in and paint. Um, I like to do uh, my new striping, which is something that I'm sure Travelodge can make me do anyway. Um, yeah, so there's a lot of improvement that still needs to happen. Um, interesting walkthrough, in interesting inspection. I was really happy that we didn't find any, any pests. Um, the hallways are looking nice and empty, which is nice. Um, but a lot of little things that still need to happen. I'm not asking for the hotel to get open. I, I, I understand that's probably still a little ways away. I'm asking for the annex building, the 28 plex out there, to be allowed to be open. I, I would love to build a fence between the two properties, by the way. I think that makes a lot of sense. Sorry for showing you my double chin there for a second. Um, oh, here's another thing. Overspray on some of the rooms we didn't get to wiping off. So that's unfortunate. Um, but yeah, that building out there, I'd like to continue. And I'd like to remove all this glass panel. I'd like to know that there is income stream coming in from that building and that we have a chance that, um, you know, we're able to do the properties. Um, I've had several people reach out to me asking why we don't have a sort of lawsuit. Um, there's several different ways to go about this. I'm like, you know, guys, look, we're, we're in Lincoln, Nebraska. They're not asking for me to build the Taj Mahal. They just want to make sure that it looks nice. And I agree 100%, that was my intention. I also didn't convey that well enough. That's why we started the YouTube channel. And, um, you know, that, that that's what we want to do. We, we need to go through and do that. Um, I just need the ability to run the hotel and the annex building uh, as a business owner 
in the way that makes the most sense financially. I want to keep everybody in the same loop and I want this hotel to stay. I don't like the idea that, and, and I know that there's several investors in Lincoln that think we should just knock down the building or we should sell it to somebody else and let them just knock down the hotel side. And maybe it's just me, maybe I'm just nostalgic, maybe I'm, maybe I'm crazy, I probably am crazy, that's fine. Um, I feel like that this hotel has a lot of history and I don't wanna just see it get knocked down. I wanna see slowly improve. I wanna see it eventually become a Wyndham Gardens or something crazy, you know? Um, this dome to me <laughs> represents a lot of potential. There's just something cool about it and I don't wanna just see it knocked down. And I, I know that there's a lot of people in Lincoln that agree with me and I, I don't know. Maybe the land would be better spent putting a casino here or something like that. I get there's a lot of people that are giving the city pressure to uh, push us out for that kind of stuff. Um, but there's potential here and I probably would make a killing if I sold it. And there's probably a lot more business arguments for selling it, but at the end of the day, um, we're making progress, slow and steady. Uh, please like and subscribe and uh, be sure to um, bother the city's office and tell them to let us open up.